Hi everyone, this video will have a look at API hooking, that what is API hooking and how we can hook on a particular API. So before I talk about API hooking, first of all we'll see that what is API and how an API works in Android application. So API stands for Application Programmable Interface. So here you can see that with the help of API, our application can actually request a data from the remote database. So you can see here that here is our application, here is our API and here is our database. So with the help of API, our application can actually make an API call and with the help of that API call, our application can actually request a data from this database. And once the data is received by the API, then the API will forward that data to the application in the form of JSON string. But now let's talk about API hooking that how we can hook into particular API. So API hooking is actually a process of analyzing methods and the arguments which are being passed at the time of API call. So just for example, our application actually passing one API call and we want to see that what kind of methods are used in that API call and what are the parameters which actually application is sending at the time of API call. Because once we know the methods and parameters, we can do API fuzzing. So here you can see that here is our application, here is our API and here is our database. So our application is actually making an API call to this API and our API is actually forwarding that request to the database. So what we will do by using some tools like you can see here, here is one Android application. Let's say it's a malware application. So with the help of this, we can actually hook into particular API and we can analyze the communication between our Android application and the database. So this happens in API hooking. Now let's see what are the tools which we can use in order to hook on a particular API. Well, there are lots of tools like Java Debugger, IntroSpy, CDS Substrate, and Bug. So we will use these tools in order to hook into a particular API. But in this video, we'll use one tool called as AntBug, which you can download it from here from their GitHub repository. That is github.com slash swd unlop slash AntBug. Now let's see how we can use AntBug in order to hook on a specific API. Now let's try to install and use AntBug in order to trace and analyze various methods in Android applications. So you can see here that my Santuku VM operating system is up and running and you can download AntBug from here from their official repository that is github.com slash swdunlop slash AntBug. So you can even download this repository or even you can clone this repository. So let me copy it up and let's go on my desktop. And let me clone this repository. So you can see here a directory named as AntBug is created on my desktop. So now let's go inside that. So inside that directory, here is one file called as setup.py. So we will install this file in order to install our AntBug. So just write down here python setup.py install. Oh, so we have to give administrative privileges. So you can see here that I have successfully installed AntBug and if I just write down here AntBug, you can see here that we can see its information. The parameters, different kind of arguments which we have to pass in order to analyze the methods. Now what I'm going to do here is, first of all we will set up our insecure bank and then we'll try to analyze the methods of insecure bank. So you can see here that my Motion is also up and running. So let me open insecure bank and now let's go here on preferences and let me add here our Santuco VM operating system IP and let me click on submit and meanwhile let's go inside our bank directory and let's start our Android lab server. So you can see here that our server is up and running and we have configured our insecure bank. So in order to analyze any application in AntBug, we have to pass its process ID to the AntBug. So first of all, what we will do, we'll try to find out the process ID of insecure bank and then we will give that process ID to our end bug. So what we can do here is we can just write down here adb shell ps and we can grab for insecure. And you can see here that the process id of insecure bank is 3364. So let me open another terminal and let me just write here and bug 
so followed by shell and hyphen p for a process id and let's give us a process id of 3364 hit enter and you will see that we are able to get inside the shell of and bug so now what the next step is so in order to find out the classes which are actually present in that application so just write down here classes hit enter and you can see here that it has listed out all the classes which is actually present in that application so why this is showing all lot of these classes so just for example you might have seen that while developing any android application we import some classes that are android classes inside our source code so that's why this and bug is actually displaying all the classes of that source code so in order to figure out or in order to see only some useful classes so what we have to do is we just have to write down here classes followed by the package name of the application that is bank v 2 so let me just write here and you can see here now it has loaded all the classes which are actually of this application so you can see all the classes like login activity 1, login activity 2, crypto class, file preference activity, login activity, track user content provider. So these are the classes which are actually present in this application. Now in order to find out the methods which are present inside these classes, so just simply write here methods and you can copy any class. Like just for example, we want to find out the methods which are present inside this class that is login activity. So just copy the class name, just write down methods and pasted the class name hit enter and you will see the list of methods which are actually present in this class so you can see here the method name as login activity dot init login activity dot create user fill data and in the last there is one method called as login activity dot perform login so this method is actually responsible for doing authentication or for logging the user so what i'm going to do here is first of all we'll set up a hook which will analyze this method and then we will try to log in with our insecure bank and we will see whether this and bug is able to analyze that method or not so in order to set hook or in order to trace any method just simply write down here method hyphen trace followed by the method name so let me copy it up and let me paste it over here hit enter and you will see that we have hooked this particular method now let's go back to our Jenny motion. So let me fill all these credentials again. Okay, so you will see here that if I click on sign in, we will be able to figure out or we will be able to see some activity at the background. So if I click on sign in, you will see that we are able to actually figure out or analyze that what actually happens at the backend. So this is how we can use and bug in order to analyze the methods and arguments that are being passed by that methods. So in this video we talked about that what is API hooking and how we can use and bug in order to analyze different classes and methods of any Android application. So in the next video we will see that how we can use Java debugger in order to hook into particular API and how we can set a custom breakpoints of that application. So thanks for watching this video.